Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome to today's video. You might be wondering where the hell am I guys? I'm in my new flat. Me and Harry have moved out. We still live relatively close together. We now have our own flats. We're old men. Anyways, I'm working on some lights and shit. I've got my full weight board there. It'll do. You guys can deal with it. We're here to watch conspiracy theories. So these ones are all on TikTok and I love conspiracy theories. I actually, if you guys don't know, I run a channel called Fellas Mysteries and every week we go through a mystery an unsolved mystery at least recently anyways right here we go so what's up with the denver airport it's the second biggest airport in the world despite okay. being ranked 20th in air traffic it was way behind schedule during construction and the final cost was two billion over the original budget so what did they spend all that extra time and money on allegedly some of the construction workers said they built five multi-story buildings underneath the airport as well as an elaborate tunnel system is this guy like just reading off of a script next to him so why did they build them well, there are three popular theories. One, they're the headquarters of the New World Order. Two, there are FEMA concentration camps waiting to be used. What's a FEMA concentration camp? Hold on. Oh, oh, it's an extermination camp. Oh, lovely. And three, there are doomsday bunkers for the global elite. In 2011, a potential doomsday-sized comet named Elanine was supposed to hit the Earth, and on that day, President Obama just happened to be in Denver. There is also a capstone in the airport that displays a Masonic symbol and gives thanks to the New World Airport Commission for building the airport. There are many murals covering the airport, which some believe depict the New World Order. Yo, what the hell are those murals? Those are really weird. Like, what is that? Imagine you're in an airport and you saw that. Doomsday event. Not to mention the giant blue horse statue named Lucifer, which many people believe represents the fourth horseman of the apocalypse. Even the Denver airport seems to play into these conspiracies. Yeah, I guess it's kind of weird, but why underneath an airport? Why is an airport a good place to have all of this stuff? Surely you would just create this in the middle of fucking nowhere. There is so many middle of fucking nowheres in the US. I'm saying it's it's got some small cap. Okay, I have a major conspiracy theory. All right, come on. I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw this girl who posted a video saying that she had a dream that on May 10th, 2020, quarantine would be lifted. But on May 10th, 1994, Mandela was elected president. And if you don't know, there was thousands of people who had a memory of him dying in 1980 in a prison. And all evidence of his death was gone nowhere to be found and that is where you get the mandela effect i went into the comment section and there was a few people saying that they had the same dream that quarantine would be lifted on may 10th and there was also a book published predicting that there would be a pandemic in 2020 as well as the world ending so i started doing more research are we really just about to create an entire conspiracy because a few people on twitter said they had the same dream i'm just curious as we all know there's been multiple times that the world was predicted to end but it never did but what if it actually did end? I found multiple articles suggesting that when the world was predicted to end, we actually shifted into an alternate dimension. Every time that the world was predicted to end, we actually switched into an alternate dimension. A dimension exactly the same as the first one we were in, but slightly different. Like details of the past have changed. For example, in the Star Wars movie, we- all Gents, please. Do not do drugs. Don't spend too much time on the internet. This is what fucking happens. And I'm not against what she's trying to say. She's just reaching too far to connect all these dots, saying that we left one dimension and went into the other one, but the other one turned out to be actually the first one we were in. It's like, just shut up. What if I told you aliens really do exist? Do not watch if you get easily paranoid. Why has he got like that music on? Why don't you just... Tell me about the aliens. We were able to talk. We all knew about aliens. They were in kids' books, textbooks, and well, basically everywhere. Now, personally, I'm a believer in aliens. I believe that aliens do exist, right? I just find it when people make the videos like this, it just makes it less credible. But what if I could prove to you they're real? Let's start from the way beginning. In 1470, Leonardo da Vinci painted the Madonna. And in the background of this painting, there's well, a UFO. To be fair, it does look like the guy in the bottom right has like, taken a picture of it on his iPhone. But I can't imagine there was iPhones back then. It also looks more to me like a boat is flying. A flying boat. That is my conspiracy theory. Without technology and the internet, how did Da Vinci know about UFOs? But what about some more recent evidence? In the last decade, a lot of pictures of UFOs have skyrocketed. Or even leaked images from the Roswell crash. But get this. In the last month, the United States government released official UFO footage. Here's that footage. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the SA. My gosh. Look at that thing, dude. 
the government have come out and said there is shit flying around that we don't really know what it is. I'm not really sure how we went from a fucking a flying boat in the back of a painting to there being aliens there. The world has wondered what happened to Jean Benet Ramsey. I did a fella's mysteries on this case and it is nuts, guys. It is seriously crazy. Child star and the daughter of John Bennett Ramsey and she was murdered in 96. If yeah. you keep up with current events and news and things, Wait, then I'm what? sure you know who this person is. But just in case you don't. This is Jeffrey Epstein, and um, if you look at this bottom line right here, it says that he was charged for using underage girls for sex trafficking or sexually abusing them. Here's the actual listing of criminal charges. All right, come on. We, no, not everyone's been living under a fucking rock. We know who my man is. This is a picture of him with his most current girlfriend. Why is she important, you might ask yourself. Well, right here it says that she was also accused of helping Epstein with procuring and trafficking underage girls. She denies these allegations, but still it's there. The picture I'm about to show you was taken of Jean Benet shortly before she died. Notice someone? Nah! Hold on a second, are we really going to accept a conspiracy theory from the username Big Dong John 69 I'm here for it. <laughs> The horror of Project Sunshine conspiracy. The government was stealing dead bodies to do radioactive testing. Probably. All right. Well, there it is. I'm not too sure if I would I, I would take conspiracy theories from TikTok at this moment in time. Certainly from the people that we just watched. Look, man, there are some sick ones out there. And like I said, guys, if you want to watch more of this type of stuff, then please let me know because I'm more than happy just to tell you how much bullshit there is flying around.